was the idea to start NTV Generated? How did you come up with that idea? And what went into starting the, the station? Um, a lot went into NTV because NTV actually started mm -hmm. when... Um, okay, I told you about the fact that we we're doing career development training and stuff. So I took it from the classrooms and the conference centers to the radio station. So I had a partnership agreement with this FM station called Kiss Me FM. And every Saturday, they were giving me one hour time with the investor to talk about investment and stuff. So I was bringing seasoned people from National Board for Small Scale Industries, which is now called Ghana Enterprise Agency in Tamil to come and help me as a sell business people to come and discuss business and how to support young entrepreneurs and women to be successful in their businesses. So I was hosting the program. So from the bank weekdays, weekends, I will rush to the FM station to host this program, allow people to call in to ask questions, relevant questions to support their businesses to grow. While doing this, a TV station started in, a, in Tamale um, called Discovery TV. Okay. So we were excited about Discovery mm -hmm. TV. So I said, how can I take time with the investor from radio to TV? So I went and discussed the authorities of the TV station and they said I should buy the airtime. So I needed to do quality production. So I came to Accra to do productions and I was buying the airtime from the um, Discovery TV. Then okay. I told them in order to work on it long term, we have to be sharing the uh, money that is coming from adverts, you know, because I cannot be paying for the airtime for a very long time. Who to they agreed? Mm. Unfortunately, within three months, the TV went off, and wow. another so, uh, you know, my hopes were dashed. Mm. So I said, I was only bringing my TV program, but then I understood the fact that mm -hmm. media house plays a very vital role in the development process of any country or any continent and i'll say it everywhere media is very mm -hmm. powerful it's a very powerful force so i knew that and i knew that northern ghana was northern northern ghana which is not only northern region now the six it was three regions then upper west upper is a northern region now about six regions or so five or six regions or so and then I saw that we cannot develop without a very powerful media house. So that's why I wanted to support the Discovery mm. TV to be successful. But now the Discovery TV went off. Another TV came up, um, Channel 6 or so. But then they also went off. So I asked myself, okay. is there any particular TV station that can ca come and carry the agenda of bridging the development gap between Northern Ghana in southern ghana and i didn't find any so i decided that let me do it by myself that is what led me into um looking for ways and means of getting a tv station that will help the development agenda of northern ghana but then it was not easy to set it up looking at the fact that our people too have a lot of challenges because we want to help our people they rather fight against you and you know how it happens in this our terrain we don't like to support ourselves to grow we only want to support ourselves to fall because we want to all be the same so when i started it one thing that helped me was that they underrated me people saw that i was just a mere banker i didn't have enough money i was just a young boy nobody knew me i was not the former president uh, the former president john mahama was a damn president by he only did an FM station. He couldn't do a real station. The former vice president from Northern Ghana, um, former his agency, uh, um, Ali Umama, um, he saw rest in peace. He too, he only yeah. did uh, a radio station, North, North Star FM. So, okay. the minority leader of parliament then, Honorable Harun Egrisu, only did um, FM station, Might FM. And... Mm -hmm former interior minister and co everybody they were all doing like radio stations fm stations and stuff so they knew that nobody could do tv so when i started the tv they didn't give me much, much attention which helped me anyway 
so I started small for my two bedroom apartment then and then I used part oh, of the okay. rooms as I, I used the hall as administration and used one of the bedrooms as the um, control room and I only reserved one single room for myself this is how humbly NTV started so I'll let my people work when I go to the bank and come back I will come and also see what they have done for their day and I'll go inside and sleep this is how we started and people underrated they said oh nobody can do it you are who are you you can't do it and then we're able to do it that's why there's a saying that if you cannot even help someone doing something but don't try to bring the person down that those who said yeah. we cannot do it they should not interrupt us when we are doing it it actually helps us a lot so that's how come i did ntv and then before they rise ntv was on air I was able to buy the equipment and gadget. I bought in technical guys from Accra and other places to come and assist. And then I also ensure that we train people locally from Tamale. And that's also what, what, what affected me. Okay. So the local people I trained, immediately I set up the TV. They also decided to break away to set up another TV, which is currently called Sagani TV. Okay. And I learned that they just won the... Um, best tv station in northern ghana um at this material moment and for me when i did the tv i knew that i was creating avenues for development agenda of northern ghana because if i establish a successful tv station other people also learn from what i have done and also be able to do same because the development agenda everybody can participate in the development agenda it's not only one person's um this thing, a role to to develop the economy or the country so this is how we started ntv and then um we didn't know little did we know that we're even going to become the most world tv station in in ghana so i okay. got to know about this five years of our existence when we started a tv station and then i had a one million dollar contract from um one million euro contract sorry from utelsat okay now, if you know Utelsat, Utelsat owns a platform that is used by DSTV. So you know MultiChoice or DSTV, or you'd have heard of DSTV or MultiChoice. So they actually, um, Utelsat owned the MultiTV platform. So we also had a similar contract with Multi -T uh, with Utelsat. And when they gave us the contract, we were surprised they gave it to us. And they said that they are working with NTV because NTV is the number one TV station in Ghana. So we were a bit surprised. And we said, ah, why is this white? These white people cannot lie. You. In fact, mm -hmm. because prior to the getting of the contract, they told us to pay 500,000 US dollars as deposit mm -hmm. amount before they give us okay. the contract. So we said that we don't have that amount of money to give to you, but we have strategies that can help you penetrate the Ghanaian and African markets. If you are looking for people who can help you become successful, work with us. And then they came up to work with us and they told us that according to the GeoPol reports, NTV is the most worth TV station in Ghana. That is why we believe that we want okay. to give the contract to you without you paying the deposit amount of five hundred thousand dollars then we asked for the reports and they then shared the jopo report with us which showed that even in some of the categories we beat joy news and adam tv so all the three age brackets that was in the report um ntv was leading in two of them and it's only one of them that mm. adam tv and then um joy news were leading and that is what actually drew a lot of international attention to our tv station with bbc the british broadcasting corporation reaching out to us asking us for partnership as well as other relevant organizations so this is how yeah. nt actually started and then um, yeah. we then national recognitions international recognitions and then also contributed to the peace there was a dagon peace um there was a chieftaincy dispute in northern ghana uh in the dagon kingdom which is one of the biggest kingdoms if not the biggest in northern ghana 
for the past 16 years, the Abu Dhanis have been at loggerheads, fighting here and there, killing each other. And then with our TV station being the, the as at that, it was the only TV station and the most watched TV station, very influential. We thought it wise to use it to help in the development process of the area that we were stationed. And as such, we then contributed to the development and the enactment of peace in Dagwan Kingdom. And that's what led to them giving me the chief Tennessee title. Thank you. So how is the NTV doing now? Okay, as at now, you know, I moved away from NTV as I'm talking to you right now. Um, because of so many issues. Okay. Uh, but then once I've set a very good foundation for NTV, um, because of the role it was playing and the influential role it plays in the development of Northern Ghana and all Northerners in Ghana too as well, and even Northerners who are not even in Ghana. NTV have sold out majority shares of the TV station um so uh to some investors and some serious politicians in ghana i cannot mention the name here and then they are actually running it um for me i okay. believe that yes there's so much to do when it comes to the media angle uh, but now because of the my activities i move on to africa and then after and i'm now working on a continental tv agenda NTV is still on air. They are doing pretty fine. Um, yes. Okay. So share with us, how are you able to keep a balance between your numerous careers and all of that then personal and family matters? How do you keep a balance between the two? Um... Um, I don't know whether you should take the question again or I heard you. I said, how do I keep a balance between what specifically? Yes, so I was asking, how are you able to keep a balance between your work life and then your personal or family related matters? This question is a very difficult question for me. Why? Because okay. um in this agenda that I'm doing, if I have to pursue it well, it's going at the expense of my family. Because as I'm talking right okay. now, most of my siblings are not in the country. I was supposed to be in Canada with them. But um, mm -hmm. I chose to be here in Africa. The challenge okay. we are having is that I believe I have a role to play. The same way okay. Okay. if I didn't do TV in Northern Ghana, it's possible that as of now, there wouldn't be any successful TV station in Northern Ghana. The secret formula would still have been, um, it would still have been with me. So, Mark Zuckerberg said that when he was looking at um, burn Facebook and stuff, he was saying that people should be able to connect, people should be able to network. Bigger in, uh, IT companies should be able to do that. And none of them did that. So we grew up to see that he was the one who was supposed to actually bring that thing up. So in the media space, the same way in Northern Ghana, I said there are bigger wigs, people who have money, people who have influence, mm -hmm. people who are more intellectually more developed than I was. They should do TV mm -hmm. and they tried and they failed. But by the grace of God, I was the one that was sent to do the TV station, to serve the same TV station in Northern Ghana. Mm -hmm. So the emancipation of African youth is a Herculean task that is demanding everything okay. that we have in order to ensure that we achieve it. So this thing has actually is giving me problems every now and then, even me and my mom, why are you still in Africa? And then so much pressure <laughs> to the extent that we even need funding or support from anywhere they they will not be willing to release it so that we will, one will be forced to rush you know to other countries but i still believe that if all of us now rush out of africa the story will mm -hmm. not be different from 10 years ago from 20 years yeah. ago. some of us need to 
be the sacrificial lambs. We need to sacrifice mm-hmm. for our prosperity yeah. to come and benefit. So, looking at some of the opportunities that we have, I, I can just come into the country and they're inviting me to another country. As of now, I have so many invitations to different countries. I have to be in Taiwan, I have to be in South Africa, I have to be in Russia. Like so many invitations at the same time. And you cannot be traveling across Africa and across okay. the globe. Before I came for this meeting, I just received a call from somebody who was working in the present uh, in the president's office, the Ugandan president office. And then he reached out to me that um, ahead of the African Union Day, um, they want to also they want to interview me on their TV station, and they want to see if I'm going okay. to be available. And our partners at the African Union mm-hmm. too also told me that we are going to have some celebration when it comes to the uh, African Youth Day celebration, which is coming off very soon. So, certainly at the expense. Okay. So, I confided in some the person told me that you have two options. Whether to be there for your family or to be there for Africa. Mm-hmm. But as it is right now, Africa has more time <laughs> than my family. <laughs> yeah. So let's wrap up. Wrapping up, what advice would you give young and business especially, as well as young people in the country who are looking forward to start a business in Ghana or are already in the business? Right now, my message that I give to every African youth is that mm-hmm. they should join After Young Entrepreneurs Federation. Okay. By joining the federation, so people call me, they need my advice. People call me, they want to do this. I said, belong to a group that is bigger than yourself. So that okay. when you don't even find inspiration, you get inspiration from the whole group. Network with like-minded people. Be with the people that you want to be. So that's the reason why you see me with Tonelu Melu, one of the billionaires in Africa, who owns the UBA Bank and Hairs Group. That's why you see me with Dangote, the richest black person in the world and richest person in Africa. That's why you see me with Abdul Salam Rabiu, who is now the second richest person in Nigeria and the fourth richest person in Africa. Be with people that you want to be with or you want to be. You want to be like. Mm-hmm. So that you okay. can network and understand each other and learn from them. We cannot be working mm-hmm. in an island. We cannot, you know, that's why I said there's unity in strength. Or there's strength mm-hmm. in unity. Once we are all united, we are going to be strong and formidable. So I keep saying exactly. that whenever you pay something small, join Afia. If you don't have money, join the free one and get the correct information, meet the right people, network with the relevant people, and let's learn. So many opportunities are coming up. We have having so many programs that we have been invited to. I have some of my members going to South Africa. Some are going to Egypt all next month. And then um, we are having a program, investors mm-hmm. are coming from the U.S. And these things, you cannot just benefit from them if you are not part of the group. So we want everybody, let's join hands. Let's come together under the After Young Entrepreneurs Federation. Let's work with the relevant agencies and make our voices louder and clearer. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. So how can someone join the Federation? Oh, it's simple. Um, you can either go to our website, um, www.afyef.org, um, A-F-Y-E-F.org, okay. and then, um, you know, get more information. You can contact us, um, and then we'll show you um, on 024-403-0280. Um, if, if, if you are not in Ghana, so plus 233-244-030280 and ask us more information about it and then we can guide you to join and be a member okay all right all right sure thank you very much um prince peter so 
for granting us this interview. We have enjoyed your submission so far. And God bless the course that we have chosen to pursue. I hope that for you, a lot of young entrepreneurs in the country will realize their dreams and be able to build their businesses. Thank you very much. Um, Enjoy thank you very much, Efa, for thank you very much, Efa, for having me. Uh, thanks to your team and your crew for giving us opportunity um, to also air the work that we are doing. Yes, together we can all achieve the dream for every African youth and woman. Thank you very much. Sure. Sure. Bye for now. All right, guys. Thank you for making time to watch today's edition of Let's Chat with me, Ifwando. Um, we're having a bit of technicality issues with our connectivity, but um, by and by, we've had a successful conversation with Prince as of her son, and I believe you picked a few things from our conversation. Now, I'd like you to like this video, share it with friends and loved ones, and subscribe to our page. If you haven't time to watch all our other interviews with um, people in the corporate space like Prince Sofo, Tita Sofo, her son, I'd entreat you to kindly go on our channel on YouTube or on Facebook, Navantric Studios, and watch our previous videos. Now, I'm bringing the conversation as to an end, and before I go, I'd like you to kindly pick numbers if you need any of our services be it software development development website development and if you need photography videography services or, or even a commercial lab for your business do well to contact the matrix on 020-828-156 or email us at navantrix.com you can also visit our website on www.navantrix dot com to connect with us now e appointment is coming your way so e appointment is an online help that helps you to book your appointments with doctors in hospitals nearby or even for you for your diagnosis and medications it is just going to be healthcare has to be for you um for making time to watch today's edition of Let's Start with Me for Ando. I'll see you another time. Bye. Stay tuned for e appointments, your hassle free online healthcare platform. E appointments, your online healthcare assistant. Coming soon. With e appointments, I don't need to join long queues to see a doctor. E appointments coming soon. Yo. Yeah, appointment they come. So I mean, what's that like? Hospital be able. Me type here fast, fast. Now you what? Hello. Watch this space for e-appointment. You have so free online healthcare platform coming your way soon. Hi there. I'm so excited to bring to you this great news. We bring to you this great platform called the e-appointment, where you can have access to all your healthcare needs, including booking an appointment with doctors or nurses or any health professional. With e-appointment, you also have the opportunity to go through all your healthcare documentations as well. So this is a great platform for you and I. Coming your way soon. E-appointment, we got you covered.